what is good youtube what is going on moviegoers from around the world welcome back to the channel welcome back to the ride home podcast today i am your host john grant and we are going through another movie if this is the first time you have listened to the ride home podcast i'm gonna break it down real quick for you basically i just got out the movie theater it's a first action first reaction review of the film that I went to go see while I drive home. So you guys are in the whip with me as I'm cruising home. And tonight's movie that we saw, you guys know it from the title. We're going to talk about this movie. It is Gemini Man. Oh, shit. Hold up. Turning, turning in my, my long ass vehicle. All right. Gemini Man. I'm trying to not hit curbs and shit. It's crazy, crazy. But all right, guys. So let's get to this this film uh, is there a film you should go check out in theaters I would say I personally I went to go see this movie on discount day so if you're tight on money definitely save five bucks go see it on discount day when the tickets are half off um, other than that if, if if you know you're not thinking financial wise or anything like that I would still say it's a fun it's a fun little action movie to check out um, Story's not an amazing story, uh, but the action does its part. The action, it has some really great action. Um, we'll, of course, let's get into the actors and the actresses in the film. And there's uh, really, uh, we'll, we'll say there's really three main ones. There is, of course, Will Smith, the leading role. Um, the side actress, I do not recall her name, but she's she's uh, kind of like the, the female... Uh, protagonist throughout the film and uh, the main villain of the film uh, so I know what you guys you guys want to hear is how good were the effects the cloning of Will Smith if you guys haven't heard about this movie Gemini man basically the premise is a guy he is like the best soldier of all time he's pretty much like 007 of the USA and now he's old He's in his 50s, and he is ready to retire. Obviously, the government puts him in a position that's kind of like a lose-lose situation. They have him assassinate this guy who it was actually, you know, not the wrong, per not the right person to actually kill. And the government has to clean up their mess, so they they try to assassinate you know, this guy who's like the best, you know, the best killer. And the guy who's the best killer, of course, is Will Smith. He's like the super agent, the best guy. He's just trying to retire. He's trying to live a happy life. But you know what always happens. It, they, they, you know, the game just pulls you back in. You can't escape it. You can't ever retire. Especially when you're that good. Happened with John Wick. Happened with 007. All the great agents of the world. You can't leave the game. If you're that good, the game always pulls you back in. That's like the code. It's the, there's no escape. You die. That's the only way to get out the game is you die. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, after Will Smith realizes, you know, they the government tries to assassinate Will Smith. Will Smith's a badass, so he's knocking people out left and right. So they finally go to their code name, their Gemini code. And the Gemini program is essentially a program where they train these assassins to do government work pretty much. Uh, high, high, high top government classified type work. And within the uh, Gemini protocol, there is one specific catch. There's one man who's better than everyone else. There's one weapon that they've been training night and day that is the ultimate killing weapon. And at first, they send random bums and regular ass, you know, assassins or squadrons to try to take out Will Smith. And after all those guys get annihilated, then they're like, we have to use the secret weapon. And the secret weapon is of course Will Smith's younger self. It's just saying Will Smith's younger self. Yes, yeah, Will. It's Will Smith. You guys have seen it from the trailer. It is 
a clone of Will Smith, a younger version. He's faster, he's stronger, but most importantly, he, he does not carry any of the war pains uh, that Will Smith carries. So, Will Smith did a good job. The CGI, uh, let's talk about the face structure. It was a similar technology that they used for the Star Wars films. Um, if you guys saw Rogue One, um, Admiral Tarkin, they used that face sculpture, of course, for Princess Leia. And it did a fair job uh, for the most part of the movie. You can, you could tell that the that the effects were a little weird at, at certain times where you could kind of tell that wasn't like a real face but for the most part it was it was pretty believable um so i would give the effect kind of the shining part of the movie like the the uh the digital young enhancements i would give it a solid like seven out of ten i would say it wasn't a mate it wasn't like fantastically perfect it wasn't terrible. It got it got the job done, though. It was good enough to believe. Uh, so I would definitely say that. So um, is this going to fit into... I know you're asking, hey, hey, John, is this going to fit into your top 10 films of the year? Um, unfortunately, it's, it's probably not going to fit in my top 10. I don't even know my exact top 10 right now. Um, but this movie just didn't have enough juice, in my opinion to really fit in like a big like top 10 um it just it had great action moments i would say if you're into action films definitely go check this film out if you're into story films the story's not very great uh so you might be disappointed coming out of it if you're really excited for a story but the action is fantastic i mean they have so many interactions with young will smith and old will smith when they're like uh, having a shootout in Colombia, completely fantastic scene. The the action was uh, definitely a ten out of ten there. And then they're actually another big scene is they're go they're fighting each other hand to hand combat in like these catacombs tombs, um, and that scene was amazing as well. So the action is a ten out of ten. It has some great action scene. It's gonna keep you on your seat. It's gonna keep you hyped and engaged throughout the film but for the story the story just didn't at least in my opinion the story didn't do it enough for myself personally and uh there there's a few there's a little few gripes in the film that you can you know talk about or have fun with friends or joke around about but uh for the most part uh, just the the story just didn't get it done. But great, great, great action. So, um, Gemini, man, Will Smith. Will Smith's been having a great year. This is it better than Aladdin, in my opinion. No. Um, so this doesn't beat Aladdin. Um, but I mean, Aladdin's a completely different film anyway. So I wouldn't say don't go see it just because I'm saying it's that it's not as good as Aladdin. Um, it was still an entertaining, fun film uh, to watch. So, But yeah, I'm not going to go through the complete story. I know most of you guys that are listening to this has either already seen the movie or you're just interested in the movie. I can tell you that throughout most of the film, it was pretty predictable. Um, there was nothing that really kind of jumped out and surprised you, really. Um, a lot of the twists and turns and... The story aspect is kind of is very basic one two three stuff that uh, that I would say most people would see coming. Um, a lot of their wow effects or their their moments of like reveal is kind of like okay I kind of I kind of saw that coming so so there's that so um, overall though what's a basic overall for the film um, it is a fun action film take your friends to. You can enjoy if you love Will Smith. Will Smith always does a solid job too, so it's an entertaining film as well. Um, Will Smith gets another one done. You know, critics haven't be really been rating this movie really high. Um, it's been getting like 20% on like Rotten Tomatoes and stuff like that. I would say it's definitely better than a 20%, a, a 2 out of 10. Um, 
but the, you know that that's how it is. So um, I would just say the story's a bit predictable, but the action is still is still solid. So, uh, but yeah, there you guys have it. There is my ride home review of Gemini Man. If you guys can do me a couple of favors, if you made it to the end of the video, I do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I do all kinds of reviews on films that I just recently saw all the time. Check out my playlist for the other ride home reviews. Of course, like the video, um, comment on the video. Let's talk about the film some more down below. Uh, we're making videos every single day. Content's always coming out. And we're trying to get to that first milestone of 1K subscribers. So I would love it if you guys would be along and join that journey. So with that being said, guys, be easy. Have a great rest of your day. And take care, man. Deuces.